morning students today i am going to discuss finite fourier transform students for students finite fourier transforms let us say finite fourier sine transform what students finite fourier sine transform say finite students it is a finite so far we learn minus infinity infinity or zero to infinity okay students minus infinity infinity or zero to infinity now it is finite interval students finite interval say zero less than x less than c zero less than x less than c let us see students the definition finite fourier sine transform of f of x when zero less than x less than c is is f s of n that is equal to integral 0 to c f of x sin n pi x by c dx sin n pi x by c dx okay so students we can easily remember students what is fourier uh, fourier sin transform students fourier sin transform f of f s of s that is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x sin s x dx students sin s x dx simple students the limits are changed here 0 to infinity to 0 to infinity to 0 to c 0 to c suppose 0 to 1 we can write 0 to 1 0 to 2 0 to 2 okay students okay f of x is f of x now we have sin n pi x by c students in place of sin s x and simply dx simply dx you learn in Fourier series students the Fourier series the Fourier series of f of x in the interval 0 less than x less than c students what is Fourier series f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma a n what students cos n pi x by c plus sigma b n sin n pi x by c n pi x by c ok students whenever the interval is like uh, 0 less than x less than c we get here n pi x by c students n pi x by c you learn in Fourier series you learn in Fourier series students so we can easily remember students so we can easily remember so once again students what is Fourier sign transform students now f s of n students not s here what students n n that is equal to integral 0 to c f of x sin n pi x by c dx that means here from the basic definition we can remember students ok you compare finite means integral 0 to c f of x sin n pi x by c students because whenever the interval is 0 less than x less than c we are using generally cos n pi x by c or sin n pi x by c so that here sin n pi x by c now see students inverse second one is the inverse finite Fourier sine transform of f s of n when 0 less than x less than c is is see students whenever Fourier sine transforms there we get only only sine terms you know, this one sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by c are you remember students right so we get here f of x that is equal to 2 by c students generally inverse variable transform we get 2 by pi here we have c so 2 by c sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity generally we write the students f s of s so we have here f s of n so write here f s of n sin n pi x by c simple students sin n pi x by c in this way you remember students in this way you can remember by comparing Fourier sine transform and Fourier series. Okay, students. We can easily remember students. Right. Similarly, finite Fourier cosine transform students. Finite Fourier cosine transform. Say again, interval is zero less than x less than c students. F s of n zero to c f of x. This time, students cosine means cos n pi x by c. Cos n pi x by c dx. Inverse students. Inverse finite Fourier cosine transform. Inverse Fourier cosine transform. Whenever there is an even function, we get these two terms, students. These two terms. 
okay students now see students f of x that is equal to actually 2 by c students we get a naught by 2 2 2 cancel students we get here 1 by c 1 by c f c of 0 students please remember f c of 0 plus 2 by c sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity here students f c of n in place of n students f c of n f c of n means for air cosine finite for air cosine transform so f c of n cos n pi x by c cos n pi x by c uh, this is about uh, finite Fourier sine and cosine transforms in this way you can easily remember students otherwise it is very difficult students okay hope you understand thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind